just gonna send um, Punchy out in Dark Void. Oh! Focus Punch. This could be bad. Because I'm just gonna let that happen. Ouch! That sucked. Glad Lucario is a steel type. sake of it, just to make the fucking beeping stop. It has a feud with Survivor for many generations. Its sharp claws are its biggest weapon. Almost lost Punchy there. Hmm. Hey guys, I'm a crooked guy. Check my uh, new catches. Nice luck incense. Yes. Now let's look at my new moves. Careful. Tinted. Oh, tinted lens. Nice. Sandstorm. Extra sensory stun support spell. Ghost combat. Aqua jet. With battle, nice. Dang, I have some good uh, replacements in case someone dies. Wow, might be a bitch getting them trained up, but damn. Arrived from Bellstone Warehouse yet? I have to, I have to wait here to get until then. Uh, I'm going batty from this weight. Oh man, I wish you could do something that involves a lot of explosives. Yup, that'll be a smashing job for Team Galactic. But since we're here in Pastoria City, you know what that means. Time to set up for the grind. OBS is behind. Top. And let's take off the frame rate. I assume it looks so derp. Hey, thanks for the easy kill, moron. Right, 
kind of sucks. Shellos isn't worth it, because Shellos is actually supposed to be here. Something tells me to go back to the Verity Lake front. Not the Verity Lake front, but the Valor Lake front. The place with the thing that's nearby. Yup. Tauros is good experience. Ah, oh, I could have gotten Gibble here. Neat. <laughs> Not worth fighting, though. Cricketune's not worth fighting. That I'm aware of. Damn, Tauros is fast. Thanks, Jay. Tauros is a fucking monster. It's a shame that it's in such low tiers because it doesn't really do much. Oh, come on. There's a lot that goes into a raw act, so... Yeah. I'm lucky I'm not running into any fucking dry skin to hip out on. That wasn't a shiny Hippowdon, that was a male one. Males are yellow, females are gray. Normal. Which is confusing as hell, because, you know, there's... got a drastically different palette for reasons. Of course, she's bulky as fuck. But then again, that's why she's in UU. U U. Oh, come on! Got all these antidotes. Well, lava cookies, I should say. That was a crit? Damn. Fondle's just too bulky to grind on. Oh, come on, headcase! Gotta switch. I 
that probably wasn't a good idea. I started the Super Mario Bros. 3 ROM hack back in 2009 and dropped it because I changed something that fucked everything up. This is not a good place to grind, head case. Hound hour is not worth it. Now that I've switched to the Pokemon that can actually fight these things, it's not going to give me anything that I can actually fucking fight. To gain experience. Thanks, game. This is one of my favorite songs from that game. You not fighting you. Oh, let's put him to sleep. Huh? Let's lower his accuracy. Huh? Fucking. Oh, not what I would call fair. nice to see if someone out there in the hacking community has figured out how to make the uh, fourth gens properly freaking randomize. Sure, let's just give one of the bulkiest Pokemon in the game the ability to raise its fucking physical defense. that item. <sighs> now the game's only going to give me core fishes. Why is Houndour appearing in two places that are near each other? If Hapaldon wants to be a jerk, then I can fight it. I can fight using its style all at once. Underhanded. And mean.
Not worth fighting if it's lower on my accuracy. Hey, stupid, I'm water type. Growl, secret power, smoke screen, all of my why. Yeah, but the thing is, it they don't use a special attack. Wow, that was nice. But that was aided by um, close combat. That wasn't, though. Weird. Okay. That I can respect. Wow, Cricket Dune actually is kind of worth some experience. Wow. Surprising. Now, didn't you say that there's a patch for Fire Red to uh, do the physical special split? Yeah, I definitely need to get rid of Spike Cannon. Because it's a little on the pathetic side. Also, my only physical attack. Yeah, but the thing is, the elemental punches in third gen sucked. 
because they were special. The only reason why Hitmonchan got away with having them in first gen is because his special was actually respectable. Well, Fire Red and Leaf Green use the exact same code as a base. The only thing that's changed is their the encounter chain, uh, tables. So Fire Red and Leaf Green can be patched, and Emerald runs on its own code base, so... Let's send Isaac up. Probably to have his face dented by a fucking close combat from Tauros. Belly drum and haze. Why would you do that? Yeah, hip out on with Isaac's a bad idea. Just because they can out bulk him. Give Isaac something that can actually dent his freaking hip out on. Wow. Boros is almost completely out bulking Isaac. Jeez. What, the bubble beam set? <laughs> For, uh, Persian? I can't remember... Oh, fuck. I'm not even gonna fight that one. Oh, wow! That didn't hurt at all. Damn it. Tauros, buddy, you can only use that on the first turn of the battle. The very first turn. I kind of remember the Bubble Beam Persian being really annoying in Pokemon Stadium. Yeah. 
I don't think it had any, much of anything else. So apparently, whichever slot the um, fucking water, the dry skins, oh, eh, the dry skins on for hip out on is the rare one. Even learn Thunderbolt? Actually, the uh Moves, some of the movesets in Gale of Darkness were actually really good. Giving some Pokemon abilities that will move they couldn't normally have. Like Helping Hand Bayonet? It's freaking hilarious. Damn it! Like, I actually thought about using the, uh, the Bayonet in um, a 4th gen team for use on uh, Battle Revolution's um, Master's Cup. Helping Hand Explosion to take out the Master's Kyogre. Eh, yeah, well... Can't win them all. <laughs> okay, that's like crit kill range. I'm gonna need you to step up your offense a little bit, Isaac. special defense? 113? Oh, 100. 